Well, doesn't our appliance cover look lovely on this microwave? I really think it kind of makes my microwave look like a rotisserie. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? Now, another marvelous thing that we've done in this kitchen is we put a curtain across the work area. Now, this curtain makes it, well, a little nicer when you entertain. Not to have uh, everything exposed, so obviously. I let this curtain free for just a moment so I could do this and show it to you. But for the time being, this curtain is in bondage, so to speak. We have it all wrapped up, as we do all the curtains in the apartment, with bands to train them to stay in the position that we want them to be in. Ah, well, here are our curtains, and don't they look lovely? Now, I found the fabric on eBay, and it's a somewhat lightweight rayon, so I needed something that would uh, uh, give it some body and not make it look cheesy when the light sort of would stream through it. I don't like that. So I found some black outlining, and this is black outlining, and it's plain cotton that has had a, a surface uh, printed on top of it that blacks out the light. And isn't that clever the way that works? And it really does a beautiful job of cutting the light when you're uh, working with curtains. And so I lined the entire drape with that and, uh, and it comes out really rather nicely. I think it gives it some ephratis. <laughs> I really do like it. Now, um, these bands, this is what I was talking about with the banding that keeps the uh, curtain in the position that you want it to be in when it just folds back on itself. Well, what do you think of my glamorous new sofa? Isn't it beautiful? It's done in this wonderful fabric that's a reproduction of a Werner Panton print. And the sofa was made by John Corey Studios by Rose Wood. Isn't that wonderful? And it is uh, not only a sofa, it's also storage. It's made to look like a four inch thick slab of rosewood. It's really very sharp, I think. As you can see, I have gotten some fireplace tools, which, well, just add to the authenticity of the fireplace. And I think they look really quite charming. They're very modern in appearance. And a little tripod stand. In addition to that, um, here's the fabric. I've, I've uh, taken the bands off one of these so I can show this to you. It is, uh, as you can see, a wonderful scroll design. Really very beautiful. And I want you to see my light bulb lamp. Now, this is something that uh, I really think adds to the modness of the space. Um, what's interesting about using this lamp in this fashion is that these lamps you normally see hung from the ceiling. But this is an unexpected twist, setting it on a table. And because of its oversized look, it uh, looks very pop arty, which is very 1960s in appearance. We've replaced our Eames bent plywood chair with this wonderful fuchsia wool mohair blend chair. It's lots of fun. It has a very low back, which keeps a very low feeling to the room, which we wanted. And it's nice and comfortable. Now behind me, we have a wonderful little vignette. Uh, it's on the shelves that we painted the backs of those nice bright colors. And what we've done is we've placed a single vase on the top. And on the bottom, we've put a wonderful pair of Pebbles fur boots. And you should really consider that. You don't need to just use vases, lamps, and ashtrays to decorate with. Why not decorate with something fun like boots? And these certainly are fun. Greeny, it's so high. Well, it is somewhat high up, darling, but I don't think it's that bad. Are you agoraphobic? No, I'm not allergic to cats. Well, that's good. <laughs> so this is the bedroom, what do you think? Well, it's really rather cozy. I think so too. And I like how this furry bedspread, this rug, makes a great bedspread, don't you think? Yes, it does. Now, Brini, tell me, how many phones do you have? I have six. In this little apartment, you have six phones? Six extensions, yes. How come? Well, I always want one handy. I mean, there's one in the living room, there's one in the entrance hall, there's one in the kitchen, there's one in the office, there's one in the bedroom, and there's one in the bathroom.
Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you, dear? I'm just fine. How are you? So what do you think of the bedroom? I think the bedroom is really rather nice. Well, now, I want to point out some of the features here that are sort of interesting. Did you see the fan? Yes, I did. Isn't it great? In fact, my toes almost got caught in it. Oh, yes. Well, don't raise your foot up too high. I notice you have to do everything in the missionary position, though, here, because the ceiling is rather low. Oh, but you wouldn't know about those things. What's the missionary position? Does that have to do with praying or something? Yes, praying in China. Okay, all right. And I want to point out this wonderful painting here. It's very heavy on pasto, and it's... Uh, very, you know, heavy, very heavy on pasta? No, no, heavy impasto finish. It means that there's a lot of texture to the, to the paint. And uh, uh, behind me, if you take a look, you'll see that I have a lovely little chest of drawers that I store things like, well, you know, little things like uh, uh, lip balm and elbow cream and eye cream and uh, an extra travel alarm, things like that. And also, I have those great shelves for books and things like that. Valley of the Dolls. I saw a lot of good classics up there. That's right. Some of my favorites. I have the entire Jacqueline Suzanne library. Oh, she'd be very proud. Uh, wouldn't she? And uh, um, then I have like, my little vintage uh, clock radio. And then, of course, that wonderful little orange tensor lamp. Tensor lamp? What's that? Uh, just a brand name, dear. Oh, like Kleenex. Uh, yes. Um, uh, 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 I'm going to hang up now. Oh, okay, if you must. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye, have a nice evening. You too, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, so what do you think, Mary Ellen? You like it? Well, I think it's really nice. I've had such fun on this episode. Have you? Yes, it's been nice seeing your bedroom. Uh, yes, for the first time. And the last. Well, you never know. I mean, we do live next door to each other. So come back next week for more fun here in the Brini Maxwell Show. And thanks for your patience through this wonderful renovation series. It's been fun. Bye now. The spirit is moving.